Well, I believed that. Hello, and welcome to Night Chat. Let's get right into it. So, I've covered gang stalking on my channel a few times. Um, I personally am a victim of gang stalking. It's funny because as I record this, I have to open up my doors and my windows and let the light hit the green screen so I can see like <laughs> cars right in front of me of possible perks. Perks? Um, look, I won't go into the whole story right now, but there's evidence pointing that me and my sister have been victims of gang stalking since we were little kids. And you can thumb me down all day long, but if you're if you're creeping out and you're stalking a three, four year old, you got some serious problems. Then when I was ten, I mean, there's just countless. And this is this evidence points to the American government or the culprits, the ones behind the gang stalking. But we'll get into this a different day. Are we going? We don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm also forgiving my enemies and I'm praying to God to redeem them to show them the way and if they ignore it to destroy them I prefer everyone get saved and get help but at the same time if they're a threat to society in any kind of way I'm just a person in society then we can't allow that <clears throat> even, even in a society where things are free we cannot allow criminals to go around hurting people I, I believe in a lot of freedom and I believe everyone has a right to privacy when you're inside your home if you're not hurting nobody you have a right to privacy now I'll just say leave it at that now I'm a victim of gang stalking there's they tried to kill me like three four times last year and I just want to let it all go I forgive my enemies as long as they stay away from me and my family that's what it's really about. My friends, my family, just, if you're smart, your cross is off your list. Because I'm just a snare. I'm a trap, waiting to collect. Now, it's a Twix. I want to say happy Shabbat to everybody out there. Thanks for watching. And we'll get into the alien talk. What this is really about, is Crawley, a man named Crawley, who lived in, in the 30s and 20s, went around killing little kids. He went to an island and had this crazy sex party, worshiping the devil. He called himself the beast. At one point, he went to the pyramids, the Great Pyramid, I believe, and he did a ritual trying to open a portal. Well, let me fast forward to the 60s and 70s. You got the Beatles thanking Crawley on their album. You got a picture of Crawley on their cover, the Beatles. You got Prince, Madonna, and other pop star singers that have a fascination with Crawley. Why would anyone love a person that killed little kids? See? And that's the question you should ask yourself. Because the pop star singers are not really regular folks like you and me. Most of them are. And the singers, and the actors, and the Congress, and the da da da. A lot of it are hybrids. They've been replaced. And Crawley opened the portals. From that moment on, you had thousands of cases of alien abductions reported worldwide. By the 70s and 80s, we're up to the millions. Millions of abductions. Millions of abductions and missing children. Millions of missing children, gone, whoosh, whoosh, gone. Now, the symbols that are popping up on our cars, our clothes, and our movies, these symbols date back 6,000 years to child sacrifice and the visitors from the stars coming down and telling us they created us, that we were to sacrifice our firstborn to get the crops growing. Not telling us they had control over the weather through just sci-fi technology like we do now. If you look into Harp, Canada, they have you have people that work there confessing on camera that yeah, we're working with weather. So 
After Crawl, you open the portals. He tried to. Then suddenly you have all these abductions that increase every 10 years. Every 10 years they increase. And here we are. I mean like, whoo, way in the future. And you have satanic symbols all over our clothes. In the movies, just everywhere. We're flooded with it. This stuff dates back to the Egyptian days with the pyramids and child sacrifice and giving worship to the devil. Did you hear me? The devil. Now, the Bible says that the fallen angels came down in those days and made it with the women, our women. They seduced them and they had children with them and they were known as the Nephilim, the hybrids. Part gray alien, part human. In the Bible, it's part fallen angel, part human. Now, this is back in the pyramid days. You, you'll see drawings of, of gray aliens and airplanes. In fact, they have this little toy. It's a jewelry of a little airplane. And when they, scientists, when they made a bigger version of it, the thing flew. And you can't just make an airplane and fly. There's science to it, aerodynamics. Aerodynamics means it has to be cut just the right way to fly. And this piece of jewelry, when it was enlarged at the same measurements, flew. You understand me? Flew. Which is proof. Now, Here we are 6,000 years later, the same symbols that you see at Starbucks, that fish, Mercedes, some of the names, Nike. Nike was a true runner in the Olympics. He was part fallen angel, part human. In other words, part gray alien, part human. Now, when Crawley opened the portals in the 20s and 30s, something came through. He drew a picture of a man named Lamb that was part alien, or was alien, and he had the same face and head as the character in Wizard of Oz. That guy looked like an alien. So on and so on. But then you have the, the crash at Roswell, where for three days they admitted the officials, their story was, there was a spaceship and three alien bodies recovered. Well, the military came rolling in, and suddenly it was a weather balloon. Now, 30, 40 years later, one of the men, I think he was a sheriff, he had some of the wreckage for a few days before they came and took it away from him. He said it was like foil. You can burn it with a torch. You can cut it with pliers. Nothing worked. He wrote a book 30 years later admitting that there was something there. Then you have all the symbols suddenly from the 60s and 70s starting to pop up everywhere on all of our stuff. Hinting around that they're back. The children of the fallen angels. Now last time they were here, they got vicious on us. They started eating us. Started just mopping us up. And God sent a flood worldwide and destroyed them because they were just pure evil. Now this time I believe that they're actually more human-like. They have to look like us now to fit into society because the Wright brothers were humans. They did create the airplane. And you had the car before the hybrid showed up this time. So they had to go based on how society was set up to fit in, not to be detected. And they killed the generals in the beginning. You know, the Roswell crash. They killed the generals and they cloned them. And they started going to, up to the president. And then they would travel around the world for the, all those different, you know, public press releases where you see our president meeting with a different president. And they went, traveled, and they killed them and they cloned them. And sometimes they put dictators in for the same agenda. And that's why now what you see is a big Broadway play, in my opinion. North Korea, South Korea, China, Japan, America, it's all a bunch of hybrids that are doing a Broadway play, making us think they're fighting each other. 
put us into fear, she took away our rights. Because it, yeah, the, the object of the game is to get a big prison camp going and to get you and me into inside this, to get us inside this giant prison camp. Whew. That's the name of the game. Now, they're doing what Hitler did. Hitler's a blueprint, but they're doing it in more of a sophisticated way. However, I do believe they overjumped recently. They're doing a little bit too much, and it's starting to get known to the sheeple. The people that don't believe in conspiracies, that believe the government is on the up and up and there's no murders going on. There's nothing to see. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Now, what we have to do, because for the first time in history, the nation is being ran by hybrids. It's been going on for about 60 years. And they see you and me as cattle. We are supposed to cattle, you know, cows. We're supposed to be grazing now inside their camp until eventually Now this is the real, 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 really world. See, I dated a hybrid before in the past and um, I uploaded a video and I got into some serious trouble last October. I went to the emergency room for an asthma attack. The doctor tried to poison me through IV, through the IV. I stopped at a red light and this military man tried to open my car door and get inside the car. He had a huge truck. He parked right next to me. I had people block me on the street and look in the mirror and go like this to me in the rearview mirror. A week later, I had two huge marine guys try to sneak in my back windows at one o'clock in the morning. This happened in April 2016. They threatened my life. They were coming up here to kill us. My brother was staying the night. My brother was spending the night and they were coming up here to kill us. You don't come to someone's kitchen window, especially when he's on a second floor to play checkers at one o'clock in the morning. So let's just say nothing happened. I call 911, I'm freaking out. This is what the cops want you to believe. Yet on the third call, a voice comes on the phone while the phone's ringing to 911 and says, No one's gonna help you. My brother heard it. He goes, What is that? I say, You tell me. Okay, now I can prove someone hacked into my phone. Now they probably put a blocker where I can't trace back who it was, but there's still a fingerprint. See? Four in the morning, three in the morning. The cops came out three times. There's two times they came out and they didn't want to shine their flashlights behind my studio where it's all shrubs and dark. And the second time I had to beg them. Literally get on my hands and knees and beg them. Now, these two characters that came out, they looked creepy. And I would have to admit that I believe if you were to follow them and do some research on them, you'd probably find some mysterious deaths evolved around their character. I'm gu I guarantee you. So, like when I call 911 and when you call, we go to two different places. I get routed through the Black Ops program, where I'm, I'm literally being preyed on like an animal in the forest. You understand what that means? Now, I have a legal right to defend myself, legally. Legally, and with no kind of guilt whatsoever, if my life is really in danger. Whether you see it or not is besides the point. Same with you. If your life's in danger and you see things that I can't see, you have a legal right to defend yourself too. That's how it works. You know, I don't, I'm a, I like to be alone. I'm a, more like a hermit. I have a few friends, but they're very, 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 very good friends. But I like prefer to stay alone because I know people can sometimes betray you and hurt you and break your heart. But these freaks decided to invite themselves into my life thinking that my privacy, my alone time, was for sale. Like I was just gonna offer it out. So they're able to see inside our homes, in case you're not aware of this, they could look into the smart meters. They can see inside our homes. It's just a matter of time before this stuff's revealed through people that are more intelligent than me, people that have the financing. It's gonna be revealed. And when it is, there's gonna be a lot of people going to prison. 
I think we should do is I think we should really give them a moment to turn on themselves and to escape penalty. Because if you do that, you'll get the truth. You'll get the real story, what's really going on. Plus, some people you know, need a way out. You know, they, 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 they were suckered into it. The people that run the world told them, you know, you guys are part fallen angel, part human, you guys are freaks. No one's gonna like you, and they're gonna do a witch hunt, and I feel sorry for them for that. They're victims. They are victims. They really are. And I'm not just trying to speak up for them, but it is what it is. I really believe they're victims. So we need to help them, not hurt them. So people that come forward, and I think, I, even if they all came together forward as a crowd, all of them, then no one goes to jail. That's how I see it. We have to forgive, and we have to let go of the past and move forward now. And I know that sounds really like a sellout to some people, like I'm a sellout, like uh, I'm, 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 I'm whitewashing it. No, I'm not. But it's so big and so horrible that the best thing we can do is get the truth out to the public and then move past that point. And I mean no penalties whatsoever for the for anyone that cooperates in the beginning. You cooperate fully and you are covered by the law. There will be no repercussions. That's, that's how I feel about that. Now, we are under the control of space aliens. They, they do run the world. In the Bible, they're called the fallen angels. But there's real proof. There's real proof everywhere. You can see right in front of you. At the Vatican, he has a giant statue of a gray alien of a bee's nest thing with something coming out of the vagina. I'm just, I'm not trying to be crude, but that's what is over at the Vatican. <laughs> you know? So we need to, honestly, you have to believe there's a God and there's a devil. That's all there is to it. There's a God and a real devil. And if you're not with God, you're with the devil. Even if you're a good person, you can be with the devil. We, if, if you surrender your life over to God, it's a lot easier than you think. The line is so close together. You just follow the Ten Commandments daily. You follow the New Commandment, which is forgive your enemies, those who persecute you. You pray daily and get a relationship going with God the Father. Say, in your son's name, I know he, he, he died for me because he loves me. It's real simple. God is a living entity. Get a relationship going with him. Get a real relationship going with him. That's our best bet. Um, the reptilian hybrids need to do a complete turnaround and go the opposite direction. To escape judgment, and they will escape judgment. If they turn around and go the other direction, they will escape judgment. That's a, that's a promise. That's a promise. Now, I gave my gang stalkers around here plenty of time to vacate because I don't want no problems, but at the same time, I gotta tell my story now because I'm a victim and I've been traumatized and I've been hurt. Now, I would never kill myself. I wanna make that very clear. Never. If I do, I'll make a video talking about it and there'll be no gun to my head. I'll never kill myself. I'm never going to break the law. I never have any plans to go hiking in the country and disappear. I won't go anywhere alone. And I have big plans to help the world. I got lots and lots and lots of big plans to help the world. A lot of big dreams. And I want to see them carried out and fulfilled. And I do care about the hybrids. And I do care. And if there's something we can do to help, some way we can work together, if there's something you need that if we knew it, we wouldn't like you, we can figure this out. We can figure it out. Well, thanks for watching. And God bless you all, and enjoy your Sabbath. It is a Sabbath after all, so I'm going to enjoy mine. Thank you.